today on the show we're looking at a workhorse bid 1975. Stay tuned. Hello friends, welcome back. I get a lot of questions about this smoker from people who either wants to buy one or in the process to buy one and try to go over the specs of this smoker and what I think after a month of you. So let's get started. Let me start with the firebox here. Actually, it's a firebox slash a cowboy grill. Two grades, 23 by 26. Cooking chamber. We have upper grades. This is an option. You upgrade to. And we have a bottom grade. These are 23 each. 23 by by 23 so bottom grade total we're looking at 48 by 24 diameter the whole pit is 24 so 23 by 26 17 by 40 48 by 23 firebox measurement is 24 by 27 upper grid I mean the cooking chamber is 24 by 48 smokestack is 45 inch we have a, a bottom grade here for storage that's 20 20 by 38 pneumatic casters 8 inch the most impressive thing about this pit is is the thickness of the steel this is a 3-8 steel all around from cooking chamber to firebox this is rare to find in backyard smokers most of them go quarter inch this one is a 3-8 very thick it means whole temp very well you know this thing weighs 1200 pounds very heavy easy to move on flat surface hard to move of course on the grass or gravel or whatever I did use a, a thick plywood to move it from the front to the back here I had to go through grass it was a struggle but uh, we did it this is 83 white 53 high with the smokestack foam I was blown away by the the quality of this thing pictures and videos don't do it any justice the welds are clean on point 
everything about this thing is on point zero complaint highly recommend this thing it's a beast I've been cooking on it for a month now and every day it gets better it takes a little time to get to know it but after a few cooks you get a hang of it this thing comes with tell through thermometers two two in the bottom two in the upper those are an upgrade I have a drain here smokestack I think it's eight inch diameter 45 long and a famous collector right here oddly enough I was born this year which makes it even better and uh, all I can say man this thing is a beast highly recommended for anyone in the market looking to buy an offset smoker after looking at a dozen builders I settled on workhorse pit and I don't regret it I hope this video helped anybody in the market for a smoker I couldn't find anything on YouTube explaining everything about it besides the makers YouTube channel that's it that's pretty much it not a regular user review or overview or anything whatever you want to call it The, the main question I get asked is fire management on this thing. All I can say is after two, three, three cooks, this thing is a, as easy as it gets, man, when to manage your fire. The steel is thick, the firebox is huge. It makes it an easy job to maintain your fire with less fuel and uh, recovery time on this which means when you open the pit it drops a little bit but as soon as you close the door these things go back to whatever temp you had it on before in no time very impressive all i can say man i'm very happy with this i i think walker speed did a great job on this one like I said before man uh, videos and pictures don't do this thing justice there's the 1975 for backyard size that's a big size right here I'm not complaining though I could use all the real estate I have on the grill one thing I haven't touched yet is the the door right here It has a buffle thing right here. A, looks like a, a bow tie. Good airflow in there. I usually, I really don't use it. I just go like this. This is how I manage my fire. Cracking the door. You know. Like I said, man, this thing is huge. I almost forgot about this here. A pro port. I can fit four easy in here, four probes, folding stack easy for storage. I hope I answered some of your questions. If you have any more questions about this pit, feel free to ask, don't be shy. I'd be happy to answer you any questions you have about it.
that is it for this video thank you for tuning in don't forget to subscribe if you like this content i'll see you in the next one and i do like the shirt Thank you.